In this problem, we are dealing with a sequence. And a sequence is a set of numbers where the numbers are all related by some sort of mathematical rule. It's not too difficult, really, but there is some terminology that you might not be used to. In this case, it says a sub 1 equals 4. And then it says a sub n equals this negative 2 times a sub n minus 1, whatever that is, plus 3. And this is for this group of numbers where n is greater than or equal to 2. So we're starting at 4, and we're going to go up from there. I say we're starting at 4 because this a sub 1, that means this is the first element of our sequence. So 4 is where we start. And our job here is to list the first four terms in the sequence. So there's the first one. There's four. I'm going to put a comma because we're going to put some more here. So this little number, the subscript number one, that's the position of this, this element in the sequence. Now, a sub n, when you see that, what follows is a rule for finding any element. If you put in a 2 for n, that's going to be the second element. If you put in a 3 for n, that's going to be the third element. It's usually best to start, if you know the first element, to start next by finding the second element. So we're going to find a sub 2. Well, how do we do that? Well, first of all, it's a negative 2. And then it's times this a sub n minus 1. Well, what's a sub n minus 1? Well, we're finding a sub 2. So n is 2. So we put in a 2 here. 2 minus 1 is is 1. Oh, so this is the previous element. It's a sub 1. So when you see this a sub n minus 1, that just means the, the term in the sequence right before this one. And in our case, that's 4. And then we just have a plus 3 after that. So once you know that, this just comes down to some arithmetic. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 plus 3. So this equals negative 5. And that's our second element. Now, we just keep repeating this process. We want to find a sub 3. So that's going to be a negative 2 times this element before. Well, the element before is now negative 5, and then plus 3. So here, we've got to be careful about our signs. Negative 2 times negative 5, that's a positive 10, plus 3 is 13. And now let's find a sub 4. That's going to be negative 2 times the previous element, 13, plus 3. So negative 2 times 13, that's negative 26 plus 3. That's going to be negative 23. So that is how to find the terms in a sequence.